unfortunately for the setting is uh, still like the panel discussion, but um, we we'll need everyone to contribute and to talk to each other and, and also with our uh, MAP members. We are very grateful to have MAP members uh, Peter and, and also Jian are uh, joining with us this, uh, this session, for this session. I will say that for this, um, e at this uh, event, we will separate into two sessions, maybe some kind of self-introduction for, for you guys to, to get to know our guests first. And then we'll be in the other session for uh, just chit chat and, and move around session that makes you to meet up with each other. Um, so may I just pass the time to Peter first uh, to, to introduce yourself and tell us your, your story or, or, or even like um, a few words to our youth. Thank you. Sure, thanks very much. Thanks you for having me. Thank you for taking time out from your lunch, I guess, to listen to, um, to an old hand. So I'm, um, I'm going to talk about a subject that I know a lot about, and that's me, I suppose. And I'm not quite sure how much of this you want to hear and so let's make it quite informal and interrupt at any stage with a question or, or stop me and move on to another topic. Um, so I got into this exercise um, by accident like most people. I'm originally an intellectual property lawyer and I was working in a firm of patent attorneys um, in New Zealand where we had three offices, Auckland, Wellington, Christchurch and we had a very shitty crappy old IT system um, in 1980 uh, that was managing the database of trademarks and, and, um, and patents and designs, etc. And patent attorneys have big database requirements compared with ordinary lawyers. Uh, and so one of my jobs was to modernize this, and I went around the world looking for what I was sure would exist, which was a very good uh, online time recordal system and database management and integrated word processing and accounting system, and it didn't exist. In fact, the, the IT suppliers that I spoke to told me that I didn't really want that, um, and in fact, of course, I did. So I came home to my office in Wellington, and I engaged with New Zealand software developers, and we wrote a system with integrated accounting, on-screen time recordal, and various other things. And that could have been the end of the story, except that the guy that I worked with, who actually wrote the software, went on to become the president of the Computer Society in New Zealand. He was quite a smart fellow, and that's why he'd taken on this challenge with me. And Internet New Zealand uh, was at that stage just being formed. The, the management of the .nz domain name was, like most of the country codes, run from a university in New Zealand, uh, allocated by John Postel, who ran the original IANA function. Uh, and he had these various what were called friends of John around the world. And so one of the friends of John was the manager of .nz in New Zealand. And that had happened in the late 80s. But by 1995, it was quite clear that domain names, particularly in New Zealand, were going to be used and there was going to be problems. And his university no longer wanted the man who was managing this f on a free basis. And so the community in New Zealand set up Internet New Zealand, originally called ISOC NZ, nothing to do with, with ISOC, and transitioned the management of .NZ to the new society. So the first question, that, and they put my software developer on the board of the first company to run .NZ. And the very first issue that the first board of .NZ had to think about was, what do we do about domain name and trademark collisions? It was starting to become the era of cyber squatting. Uh, and he said, well, I know a lawyer who knows about um, trademarks, and he can probably come and give us a talk. So they rang me up, and I can distinctly remember thinking, do I want to go and give these guys a free talk about IP issues, trademarks, and domain names. And in the end, I decided I would. Uh, and that was the reason why I'm here today. I went and gave them a, a, some advice on how to run .nz from an intellectual property perspective. Uh, they eventually asked me to be president of Internet NZ, so I served a couple of years. Just as that was getting started, the global governance debate was kicking off, and where I eventually became involved in the formation of ICANN. Uh, helped build the, uh, helped at the early meetings of the intellectual property constituency, but also of the country code managers, all the people who manage dot India, dot France, dot Germany, dot Brazil, and so forth. Uh, I eventually helped create the CCNSO inside ICANN, the home for the country code managers, and so they eventually elected me to the board of ICANN, and eventually I became the chairman of ICANN. So I finished, finished a term there, 
uh, well, seven years there, and then I joined the MAG, the, the organising committee for the IGF. So that's probably enough give some key words for people to pick up on, and I'm, I'm very happy to talk to any of you now or, or later. If you just come up to me in the corridor, I'm, I'm quite approachable. Uh, just grab me and, uh, and ask your questions. Thanks. Yeah, thank you, Peter. So if you guys got some question about the domain names, you can come to Peter's and also on IGF stuff. Um, who now have Joanne to speak a few words and introduce yourself and let us know what you are doing and what you are interested in? Okay, hello everyone. I am Jonas Mäkinen. I'm from Finland. Uh, I was in Vilnius founding the Youth Coalition on Internet Governance. And like many other people, I found that I have grown out of this whole youth thing. It's been happening silently and slowly, and it's been quite horrible for me to realize it actually. Uh, so, yeah, this is N plus one IGF for me already. And so I've been doing this internet governance for civil societies for quite a while now. That's the sort of background and IG that I can start providing other people. Uh, and my background in general is that, well, uh, I can list various hobbies and professions. I'm a teacher by profession, also a medical student. I'm an activist at Electronic Frontier Finland. I've been a political pirate for six years. I do a lot of activism concerning, uh, yes, IP, concerning freedom of expression, especially concerning privacy issues. And uh, these are so relevant that I find IG very relevant because this is sort of one of the places to synchronize your information around the world about what's going on. So if, if anyone, especially young people who I try to represent, but I really can't do that very well anymore, want some hints and tips and whatever, I'll be more than happy to take someone's hand and or, or just nod them in the right direction of where to find more information. That's pretty much it. Go do ahead and uh, go ahead and ask if you want anything else. So thank you. Um, indeed, we still got two more guests here. And may I introduce uh, Andy, Aida? You may Aida. Aida. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Aida. Uh, I think I had a webinar with some of you, uh, but for the rest who don't know me, I work for One World Platform, civil society organization dealing with human rights and internet, looking things through gender perspective. Very fun, right? Um, and uh, I come from Bosnia and Herzegovina, which is a small country in Europe for those who I'm not sure, did, I'm sure didn't hear, hear about it. Uh, I'm also a MAG member. Uh, for one year now. Uh, this is my fourth IGF, which I really cannot believe. Uh, I started as a Diplo Fellow, Diplo Foundation uh, Fellow, and then I started working on Ending Violence Against Women uh, APC's project, uh, which brought me to another two um, IGFs. And then I was nominated and selected for Multi-Stakeholder Advisory Group, uh, which is MAG, that you previously heard about. Um, so um, I... <laughs> I'm trying kind of to send a message, but I'm not sure if this is the point of my talk. Um, so I, I would really like uh, to tell you that as a young people, uh, you can do a lot. Uh, so from my side, in my country, uh, we never had any kind of dialogues on internet governance. Uh, maybe only among civil society, right? But when it comes to government and private sector, they don't want to talk. If you're coming from civil society, they turn their back on you, right? So um, my involvement in internet governance spaces uh, kind of made me to push the whole um, dialogue. And uh, just on the 1st October, uh, I will not say I, because I have a team of another amazing three women, uh, but we organized um, first national internet governance forum, who was amazing. We had help from um, OSCE and Council of Europe, and it was really good. So I, I'm, I'm guessing I'm just sending a message that uh, you being here now, it's a lot that you can really do. Thank you. Thank you. May I also have Ethan? Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm sorry to be late. My name is Ephraim Kenyanito. And uh, yeah, I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to see so many young faces here. Uh, we've been working uh, with uh, David, Bianca, Yanis. I don't know if Yanis is here. Is she here? 
Oh, okay. So uh, a bunch of young people, we tried to catch, uh, to get the work from where uh, they left, uh, the youth coalition. Most of us are around between uh, 18 to around 24. So I'm 23. And we're trying to push this uh, discussion going forward, like uh, where is the youth coalition, this dynamic coalition? We don't want this to die. We don't want, uh, we want to push a new set of principles. Right now, I was just talking to some, someone out there and uh, she just suggested that uh, starting going forward, we need to ensure that uh, uh, as the mag, I'm part of the mag, Ida and I are part of the mag, and uh, we need to ensure that every panel has, every workshop proposal, for example, has around, let's say, a, a youth, a youth representation, like uh, someone needs to show that they have a youth representation in every panel discussion. So we're trying to push this discussion going forward. And um, just to say, uh, um, there's a lot you can do. The, this space, the youth, uh, we are a majority in the whole world with the majority of the internet users. Uh, but when it comes to these discussions, we are a minority. Rarely do you see someone below 25 sitting down with these diplomats, with these corporations uh, to, to discuss about uh, internet governance issues. Uh, for the first time, uh, the UN Secretary, Secretary General and the IGF Secretariat ha had three youth, like for the first year since the IGF came into being as part of the MAG, uh, Bianca, Ida, and I. And uh, we're not representative of the whole population. Uh, the, the youth, we, we, we are the majority of the internet users, but then we don't get to make the decisions. We need to, to try and change that. That's why we, we don't need the resources to attend the meetings physically. For me, some of these meetings I do online because of the resources issue and travel difficulties. I'm from Kenya in Africa. Uh, but you have the internet. That's the power that you have. That's, that's, that's what you can do. You, you, ha you can follow these calls and you can participate in all these things. You, you're not going to get any monetary value out of it. It's just out of passion to just to try and get the youth voice out there. I don't know. Yeah, and uh, in case you, have, you want to, to interact more, I'll be glad to. And um, yeah, glad to be here. And you should join the Youth Coalition Facebook group, the mailing list, check out the website. And uh, yeah, let's keep this discussion, this discussion going forward. Because and on Friday, there's um, a meeting to discuss the future of the Youth Coalition on Internet Governance. You're trying to, to come up with elections. You're trying to come up with regional representation in every region. We haven't had very good representation from Latin America. And it's good that you're having this meeting here because uh, it's going to, this discussion is going to go forward and we are going to, to, to get more representation uh, from various regions and uh, yeah, take this discussion forward. Thank you very much. To, to pay attention and, and some of us really try to, but you shouldn't wait for people to actually pay attention. In, and really, I, I think you just have to demand it and do it. I don't know what else I would say. Uh. Um, we also invite uh, Ginger to speak a few work for us. Um, hello, hi. I also apologize for arriving late. I'm with another youth, and so Judy's not. Judy's doing very, very well, but not with us yet till a little later today. Um, so I'm Ginger Park. I work with Diplo Foundation, and I kind of run uh, a, a coalition of Latin America and North, and North America because I lived for 35 years in Venezuela where it was very hard to get involved in internet governance. And so I'm extremely happy to see, for instance, that the ISOC ambassadors have several Venezuelans. It's really exciting. And I agree with the previous speaker there that we need to get more youth, we need to get more Latin Americans involved. So um, my take on IG and IGF uh, and my big excitement comes with bringing in multilingual groups, diversity, young groups, and greater inclusion with, through remote participation. Um, I don't know how many people we have online. I think we have Bianca online, right? Um, we need to all be willing and able to bring our colleagues in, to bring our friends in, to bring the people who can't be here. I mean, Joao Pessoa, Pessoa is pretty far from the rest of the world. Um, not everyone is lucky enough to be here. We can be here, uh, and, but we could also be here from our homes, from local hubs, 
And we also have to remember, my, my big point to you would be to remember that the IGF doesn't take place four days a year or five days a year now, counting day zero. The IGF and IG processes take place 365 days a year. We should already be writing our contributions for the next IGF. We should already be preparing and starting to work towards the next IGF because what's happening here is the end product. It's, we've been working on it for a year. I'm on the MAG, so I also invite all of you to give me any, any information or any look to me for any support that I can give you. And now I've gone on way too long, so check in with me later if you have any more questions. Uh, and check out the, the, the daily summary we have at the Diplo booth if you want any orientation or checking in on ID issues. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Um, in default, for the first beginning, we would like to separate into like six group uh, and we'll be swap around to, to uh, make sure everyone can be taught to our guests. The, unfortunately, our setting can be moved and separate into groups and with round table chairs and with round chairs. So I would like to uh, move a bit on the format. Um, I would like to invite everyone of our youth to like stand up and just feel free to reach out our guests and talk to them and, and also talk about yourself, um, sharing about your experience in IG or even like uh, why you are here and, 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 and your expectation for uh, the future engagement in internet governance. So may I invite all of you to just stand up and come to our guests to have a very informal settings in, in a sense. Thank you. E som um dois e testando áudio e E aí
Só baixa estéreo, só baixa estéreo. Estéreo mesmo, não o canal. Ei, ei, ei. Ah, ei. Check the Facebook discussion. I saw that, so yeah. I'm gonna check and then get back. In, in to the regard, uh, some new kind of I can do free job, for example, so I can just share with you. Okay. And you see you have an email, email, right? I got your email, so and maybe you can also check the link to the. I think email is much better than Facebook for you. Yeah. Okay. okay. Nice.
suffering due to the physical appearances and suffering due to the groups that are around. Um, we can join uh, the groups for this particular meeting and uh, continue on with the same Other group, maybe you guys can join the other. Guys can join the group or this group or even that group. You can find. You can decide. Hi. 
So you guys are from U5JF? Yes. Yeah. Nice to meet you. I'm David. Ah, uh, Andrea, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Carlos. Carlos, nice to meet you. Uh, and you're also from IG, IGF? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, and for the session, we will be moved around and in formal setting. Uh, you can see uh, for different groups, we've got some senior members here. And you can just feel free to join uh, the group which is with less people. The reason I, um, the reason I I'm just like to make this suggestion is we got less people in the group, we can have more interaction with guests. Uh, and if you like, you can also separate in the not like three people action together, you can just speak uh, and to see which area you are going to And you can feel free to get a chat. Jimmy's from other organization for one of the domain names and also has high matches. And Peter is also also one of the domain names in the sense. Some ideas on those kinds of domain names or, or, or how the other kinds of internet governance system should be. You can just join uh, these two groups. Uh, and for the gentleman in the front who is really interested on privacy issue, you can yeah, begin if you are interested in those privacy issues. Um, yeah, I think I would rather use this as a case. Um, uh, I forgot. <laughs> in the Department of Communications, my thing is like peer review and development. So if you want like an extra eye to say, no, you know, this is not understandable if you're implementing it, or you know, that's very Asian, it's not going to work in Latin America. <laughs> no, I mean, it's, it's the case, like, here, like in Latin America, if you do a session without people speaking to each other, it's not going to work, because they'll just like look at their phone. <laughs> okay, I would like to first of all, I can take your photo. Oh yeah. Because it, this is you're you're receiving a source of Brazilian <laughs> Do not underestimate the importance yeah. of this moment. How would you like to receive this photo? Here is my email. I'll send you. Great. And then so you I'll be back. I'm just taking a photo. Okay. It's been Thank you. From him. Yeah, the representative of technology community here. Hmm. Who is he? Uh, I think he's not he. There is someone representing me. Uh, there is a community here. So the representative technology community here. ITF, ICON. Um, I think for F, for F, he is mainly, but she is mainly on the ICON. She is familiar with this. So if you want to join, you can join okay. this session. The you like will make the you ask to make the rotation. rotation. I, I think you guys can just feel free to ah, okay, join. Cool, cool. Anyone? Okay. We'll be fine. How about you? Mm. I will I you also join. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So where are you from? I'm from Hong Kong. Oh, there's a lot of people from Hong Kong here. Yeah. It's like a there's a project. Net mission? Net mi I 
I don't know really. It's like net, net something. Machine. Yeah, it's net machine. It's and it's what what's the what it is about? Um, I think it's a program for youth. Um, we'll be doing some recruitment in um, Hong Kong universities among, uh, among Hong Kong every year. So, uh, like around 20 people will be selected as our ambassador. Mm -hmm. We're doing some trainings on IG and internet cafes, I mean, um, and also uh, the community work how to do it and with some Asian cities here with NGOs mm -hmm. and some governments on which is focused on, on internet, of course. Mm -hmm. um, they will be having these kind of trainings. After trainings, they will attending the conference, the internet conference like IGF or ITAN or the ITU meetings. Um, the, there's only the one other part. Mm -hmm. But the other part is we would like to have uh, people, um, our, our ambassadors to, to engage, um, to self-initiate some kind of programs, uh, mainly on the community work. Mm -hmm. uh, the community work will be like um, <coughs> some kind of youth IGF, um, mm -hmm. In API IGF one. I'm not meaning about this. this the API. API IGF. It's the regional IGF of Asia oh, Pacific okay. region. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they were doing other camp, um, organizing the camp, and also they will have some kind of carnival to be uh, organized for children in Hong Kong. What? Uh, organizing. A carnival. Uh, Someone like fun fair. Oh, okay. Fun fair for children. Mm -hmm. Uh, that is mainly focused on the internet government discussion or, or somehow cyberbullying. Uh, China land threat. Yeah, China land protection stuff. Oh, good. So you're really well structured. So how long this project has been? Uh, for this project I already have done for five years. Cool. Um, cool. That I've worked for it for three years. Mm. Um, indeed, I'm not actually a... I'm the coordinator of the program. I uh, also work for Dot Asia, the other organization uh, who support this program. Uh, like an NGO? Mm, somehow like an NGO that we own the domain name Dot Asia. Ah, it's the Dot Asia. Dot Asia, the domain. yes. Okay. Domain. Dot the um, we are not unlike uh, dot com or dot rg. They will be like to have run as a uh, multiple domain. Um, the profit will be on on the board and to be shared the profit. Mm -hmm. But for us, we will be invest back to the community for the community good. For example, youth program is one of our uh, main focus, Good. and also somehow like the other program on on uh, charity things, it will be the other stuff. So it's a really nice project we're doing. Yeah, yeah thank you. <laughs> and we're trying to create something up new here, like inspirating and what you what you do in Asia. So do you know about the youth of Safari that we are talking about here in Latin America? Um, not really understand ab about this because I'm not familiar with the situation right here. Oh yeah, we are participating of this youth at IGF program, mm -hmm. and then some people like 30, 30 young people, 30, 30 young from this project, starting to trying to create some like youth observatory on internet government to to spread the word. Like oh, yeah. So we. The last few months we have drafted a declaration from the youth of Latin America and now we are trying to create a, like a youth observatory, um, how can I say, like a portal or like a, a blog where we can oh talk about yeah. about the internet governance to the youth in Latin America oh. to, like how to, say, to speak and to study and to talk about uh, our issues. Because we don't have this, we don't have like a space for that yeah. to um, youth engaging in internet governance here in Latin America. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I think I'm very good. Yeah, I think we can have a little small collaboration yeah, yeah. Yeah. on this. Cool. Yeah. Uh, just give me one second, I can okay, okay, just okay. let everyone to move no, around okay, okay. to like run up the session. No, it's okay. I see. Uh, attention, please. Attention, please. Uh, I think uh, for every youth, you can just move around and mentors can stay in your place. Uh, for youth, you can feel free to grab the last like 10 minutes before we wrap up uh, to meet some new guesses if you like. So for youth, you can just move around if you willing to. It's a time for swap and rotation. And then you can have another 10 minutes on doing so. So maybe we can 
just feel free to keep talking or, or you can swap if you like. Okay, we yeah. were doing this, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just feel free. I'm just offering these <laughs> these options to Edna. We're free. Yeah, we are free. <laughs> Thank you.
Informal because it seems everyone is uh, close by hotel. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a oh, beach West Clothes. West Clothes. Yeah. <laughs> <No. Okay. laughs> uh, and on the beach, on the beach, uh, uh, yeah, it's we kind of have this like uh, go around and go out. Like, uh, for example, I was talking to some people and I knew they want to go and ask questions to someone and use that. Opportunity, but some other people didn't want to didn't want to ask questions, just talk to them. Yeah, 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 of course. So it's always nice to. Do you know what time? Which time everything went? The ceremony and everything. back to the hotel, people will get a shower and then we start meeting at the beach right in front of the I'm from the capital of Minas Gerais. Like like the uh, there's huge different differences in each city. To go to Rio, you really are yeah, you really need to be that careful all, all the time in anywhere. But for example, in my city, it has like it's a big city, four million inhabitants. But there are some regions, some, some parts of the, the town, you can walk around anytime. Like you can walk at the dawn with uh, your cell phone in your face. But if you go to another region. Not so far away, but kind of divided. You can be robbed just like 4 p.m. in the afternoon. So yeah, 
and countryside is usually very, very. It's really nice. It's really. Yeah, I come here too, so you have to stop your car and wait for the next bed, and then you can. And crime is mostly at uh, large cities because the countryside is really uh, free calm. We have big cities, we have drama, but it's not the rule. It's not the standard. And we have a, we have a lot of internet trolls, but on the internet they they say a lot of bad things and they also do things in the internet. It's dangerous. It's but I I think that. Sorry guys, sorry to stop you guys here. Um, because for our session will be in at two. Um, I really thank everyone of you joining this meeting. Um, maybe we can have a round of applause to our guests and all our participants. Should we round of applause and give a big hand for everyone of us to join? <laughs> thank you all for your time. Um, this is right now is the lunch time. You can. Feel free to get lunch, or you can still stay here because I, I think uh, the session is still open. Uh, the venue is still open for everyone to join. Uh, so if you like, you can just stay here. If not, you guys can feel free to go and for lunch. Thank you once again for everyone for coming. Thank you.